All right, we're here with Leo Young from Newberry Park, who ran 3.39 today here at, Nike, or at the Portland Track Fest for the men's 1500. Uh, 3.39, how do we feel about this effort? You know, obviously CIFs just got done with, so how are we feeling about it? Um, I think it was pretty good. Um, it was definitely a difficult race. I think that, uh, I don't know, it was a fun one. Um, strategically, I think that I did a good job of getting myself out towards the front at the beginning. Um, however, I think I could have done a better job of making sure that my arms and legs and body was re relaxed throughout the race. Um, I found that I was a little bit, uh, kind of running a little bit uptight throughout, you know, because I was very, uh, very conscious of where my position was. And I think that, like, you know, when you're trying to act to make moves and stuff, it's a bit difficult to stay relaxed. Uh, but in general, I thought that the race went pretty well. Um, the pacing was pretty good. Uh, uh, they did a, they did a great job. I think they, they brought us through, I think right about where we wanted to be. Um, but uh, it was definitely a tough one. I felt like I didn't have as much closing ability in my legs as I'm used to, um, which made it a little bit difficult a lap to go. But I think also some of it comes down to it was a pretty, it was a pretty, uh, it was a pretty sloppy last 400. There were a lot of guys in contention, and I think the range from first place to like 10th place was a uh, little over a second. So it was, it was, it got really sloppy. It was really difficult to go around anyone. I think that like probably like around 200 to go, there were a lot of people trying to make moves, and I think I even found myself almost in lane three, um, which is not necessarily necessarily where you want to be on the turn but it's kind of where I had to be but it was good uh I don't know you can't I can't really walk away from that with many with too many negative feelings considering I think I really put myself in it um and I ran hard well 339 like I said for high scores that's impressive where do you feel though during the race that you could have made a little bit more of adjustment to maybe execute it a little bit better yeah I mean that's a really good question I think that uh the first half of the race I really did a good job of putting myself where I needed to be but I think that after that second lap when we're coming around getting ready for the final lap um that is when I think I really could have done a better job because I think that at that point my like going through my mind the big focus was you know stay on the rail stay on the rail however people were going around me and really what I should have been doing is setting myself up for a good closing position uh, maybe about 500 to go and that's I think probably that was probably my biggest fault during the race was just not getting myself into an ideal closing position about a lap to go um, so in future races I think that's a big focus Obviously, your brother took down the national 5K record last yeah. week. Uh, from your perspective, how cool is that just to observe something like that? Oh, it was awesome. I mean, I was uh, on the sidelines filming it, watching the whole thing, and he just looked great. I mean, he, he kind of gave us a little bit of, uh, he got us really nervous. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. Um, yeah, he kind of got us nervous throughout it, though, because uh, he was really on pace, and then he kind of fell off pace a little bit the second mile. Um, so we were kind of nervous. We didn't think he was going to get it, but he picked it up last mile and pulled through, which was great to see. Last couple weeks as a high scorer, does it feel bittersweet now with uh, college coming around the corner? Yeah, sure it does. I mean, it's difficult. I mean, there's there's part of me that's not even that's not ready to be done with high school. I feel like there's more I want to do, and then there's another part of me that just can't. It's like falling out of my seat, getting ready, excited for for college. Um, but yeah, I think I think bittersweet's the perfect way to explain it. How's these next couple weeks looking for you? Uh, it's a good question. Um, really, I mean, the big focus is just uh, get stay relaxed, um, get some good training in, make sure everything's feeling good, and just get ready for some good racing over in uh, Eugene in two weeks. Um, that's going to be a fun race. There's a lot of incredible competition, so it's really going to be anyone's race, but I'm just trying to, you know, get myself as fit as possible so I can be in as much of contention as possible. Perfect. We'll see you at Hayward. Thanks, Leo. Thanks. Quick question while you're on here. Uh, four guys broke four minutes, obviously, in St. Louis a couple days ago. Yeah. You guys have run, you and Lex have both run under what the 1500 would be, like a four minute equivalent. Yeah. How what do they put the, what's the threshold for? Well, like, like 342-ish, yeah, 343. Yeah. yeah. You've gotten that several times. How important is it for you and to Lex to actually break that four minute barrier in a four, in a mile race? Um. Honestly, I don't know. I mean, I think that like, Jen, I think I think it's very likely that at Nike the pace is going under four. Um, however, I think that depending, I think that for me the focus at Nike, given that that's my last race, is going to be much more on positioning than time. So, uh, I'd rather put myself in contention for a win than go under four. Um, but. I definitely do want to go under four, but if it doesn't happen now, it's going to happen someday. But there's not too much. It's not, I mean, like at this point, going under four in high school is becoming uh, a bit less of a novelty. 
it ha it's happening a lot more. Yeah. And I think that, I don't know, it's inevitable. I'm going to go under four at some point. Yeah. I've run the translation or the conversion in a 15, um, but I'd love to do it in a mile. So we'll just have to wait and see. That, that box will get checked at some point. At some point, for but sure. If it happened in two weeks, that'd be cool, right? Sure so? would. Yeah. <laughs> if not, maybe I'll do it in college and just go way under. <laughs> way under, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Is this the first time that you and Lex have been in the same race in a while? Does it seem like you choose different uh, races usually? Yeah, we've we, we've been we wanted we ran a 1500 together uh, about like maybe two months ago. Okay, but uh, yeah, it's the first time in a, quite a while. Okay, awesome. Appreciate it, Leo. Yeah, for sure. Thanks.